Consumer Behavior Total Utility and Marginal Utility Calculations In Part 1 of the Consumer Behavior, we have learnt to develop a utility schedule. It reflects consumer behavior when a consumer consumes a commodity continuously. In Part 2, we shall learn Given the marginal utility, how to calculate total utility? And given the total utility, how to calculate marginal utility? We shall discuss the first aspect. Look at this marginal utility schedule. It shows how much utility a consumer derives from each unit of a commodity. In other words, utility contributed by each unit of a commodity. Using this information, we are going to calculate total utility. Total utility from the consumption of the first unit of apple is 20 units. It is the same as the marginal utility. This is true for the first apple only. To find the total utility from two apples, marginal utility of the first apple and the marginal utility of the second apple have to be added. It is 20 plus 18, 38 units. Similarly, total utility of the three apples is marginal utility of the first apple plus marginal utility of the second apple plus marginal utility of the third apple. 20 plus 18 plus 15, 53 units. This way we can complete the table. Based on this, we can develop a formula to calculate total utility from marginal utility. The formula goes like this. Total utility of n units of a commodity is equal to marginal utility of the first unit plus marginal utility of the second unit plus marginal utility of the third unit through marginal utility of the nth unit. Okay, we shall go to the second part of our discussion. This schedule consists of apples and total utility. From total utility, we have to deduce marginal utility. Use this formula to calculate marginal utility of each unit. Marginal utility is equal to present total utility minus previous total utility. How to compute the marginal utility of the first apple? After consuming the first apple, total utility is 20 units. It is present total utility. Before consuming the first apple, total utility is zero. This is previous total utility. 20 minus zero, 20 units. Apply the same technique to fix the marginal utility of other units. Marginal utility of the second apple is 38 minus 20. In this case, the present total utility is 38 units. Previous total utility is 20 units. Marginal utility is 18. There is a formula to calculate marginal utility. Marginal utility of the nth unit is equal to total utility of n units minus 
total utility of n minus 1 units. Using this formula, let us try to find the marginal utility of the fourth apple. Its formula is marginal utility of the fourth apple is equal to total utility of four apples minus total utility of four minus one apples that is three apples. 64 minus 53 11 units. Similarly, we can calculate the marginal utility of other units. This is all about the calculation of total utility and marginal utility. One more thing that we have to keep in our mind about marginal utility is it tells us about the rate at which the total utility changes. When total utility moves from 20 to 38, the rate of increase is 18 units. 15 units of marginal utility shows the rate of increase of total utility from 38 to 53. It is an important information about marginal utility since the concept of margin plays a very vital role in economic analysis.